companies that are using data science to sell an outcome. And what makes me nervous is there is a big gap, I think, between what they say they can do and what they can do. And I think that's challenging for people in this room because it's really hard to separate the wheat from the chat. And I'll just say, I think there are companies like Theranos out there, probably dozens of them that are selling data science that when you start asking the hard questions, it kind of evaporates and all of a sudden there's, there's a lot more vaporware than you expected. I, I don't have the solution, I wish I did. I think some of it is looking at whether they have academics that are working with, whether they're publishing, whether they're thinking about things like, like peer review. Um, and then a lot of it is you know, looking at the marketing collateral and how, how data driven is it and does it feel like smoke and mirrors or and does it feel like a lot of flow charts or are we seeing a lot of results? Are we seeing a lot of things where we say, this is correlated with this trend, p-value of 0.05, whatever the case may be. So I look for those sort of things uh, when, I'm, when I'm kind of anticipating, well, how, how good is a company as far as the data science, the core infrastructure. For me as a data scientist, the advances and the speed with which things are changing is unbelievable. And it's very hard to keep tabs on what the latest and greatest is out there. And uh, it's pretty amazing to see, right? Deep learning now that can automate these conversations. Yeah. We're very much, we think of ourselves as trying to maybe add some EQ and rapport to the bots that we'll be able to interact so that they can pick up on nuances of conversation.